Do you have a drain that is blocked and overflowing? Hey, before you call a plumber out with all the gear to come and sort that out for you, you might want to try this first. Stay tuned and I'll let you in on a little secret. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Now, do you have water overflowing out of one of these? Well, first of all, you should be very thankful because if it wasn't coming out of there, I'll tell you, it'd be coming out inside your house. Now, there are many reasons why your drain will block up sometimes and overflow. First of all, there's some serious reasons like roots in the pipe, but then there's the not so serious ones like, you know, it's a fat build up or one of the littler members of your family have chucked some sand or gravel in the drain. So it's these not so serious blockages that this little technique I'll show you now will most of the time get that drain flowing again. When using this technique, always keep in the back of your mind that water cannot be compressed. First of all, I'll explain what that drain actually is that's overflowing in your backyard and what it's there for. Every house or unit should have one of these. And it's very important because I'll tell you, this is the only thing that will stop raw sewage flooding into your house. So this is what's buried under the ground outside your house or unit. Now this here, this represents, say, water that sits in the, in the trap. It's called the water trap, okay? So it stops the sewer gases coming up here and then flowing out of this grate. And then plumbers can put fittings like this on, which you can connect kitchen sinks or troughs or even showers into, and the water flows into this and drops in and, and goes off to the sewer. It's very important that this grate is set below your finished floor level of your house. Now the reason for that is, if the sewer ever blocks up and it starts rising up, it pours out of here, outside your house, because if, if it didn't, then it would be pouring out the next, you know, lowest fixture inside your house, which is usually your floor waste gully in the middle of the bathroom or your shower. Another thing to make sure of is that that grate is easily removable and made of plastic, not cast iron. Now the reason for that is, when that sewer blocks up, wet paper can get caught underneath that grate, but when the pressure builds, the grate just floats up and, and away and releases all that raw sewage into your backyard. So a lot of the time, these cast iron grates are rusted in there so badly, you'll need tools and a bit of heat to get them out. Now you can imagine the paper getting caught underneath will block it off, so that pressure from the sewer won't flood out in your garden, it'll be flooding to the next you know, highest fixture, which will be your shower or your floor waste. So if you've got the cast iron grates installed at your place and you're a bit worried about it, next time me or one of my guys are out at your place, just ask us to swap them out because we carry these on board our vans all the time. Now, if you'd rather swap these over yourself, then you can just buy them from Reese. They're called a DT mount with legs. And if you want the part number, is 1409703. So if the drain is just blocked with, say, a bit of fat from, say, the kitchen sink or some sand that's or foreign matter that, that's in here, then I'll show you now how to unblock it. All you need now is one of these hairy mops. Now if you don't have one of these, just nip down to Bunnings and grab one of the cheapest ones they've got. Now, this is very important, okay? So listen up. You gotta make sure that the mop is attached to the handle really well, okay? And the best way to do that is chuck it on the ground, stand on it and give it a pull, right? To make sure it, it doesn't come off. Now if it does come out, then you need to put a screw like this into the handle like we have, so you know that it's not going to come out. Now once you've got that sorted, just place, place the mop inside the DG and just plunge it down and up, nice and slowly, and all the time keep in the back of your mind that the water can't be compressed. And once the drain starts flowing, then it's a good idea to chuck a bucket of water down the drain to flush all that blockage down and away. So if the old uh, mop technique doesn't work, well, then you really only have two options. Option one, go out and buy yourself a 30 grand jetter, camera, and uh, you also need a locator probably, and you'll be able to sort it out easy. Option two, you've got to engage your local plumber who's got all that gear, and he'll be able to come and unblock that drain for you. Hey mate, I think we've got all that gear. Get out of shot, mate. I'm just saying, come on. <laughs> so if you've got a drain that you can't unblock, and you live in or near the Shire of Kalamunda, or within 15 minutes, give us a call, we'll be happy to help. Hey, and thanks for watching.